cette biodiversité, pourquoi il faut qu'on s'en préoccupe en fait Biodiversité, pourquoi nous devons nous préoccuper de la biodiversité Parce que la Terre ne bougeait pas du tout en termes de. C'est une réponse à changer. Si la Terre n'a pas changé à cause de nombreuses influences, nous pouvons. Be content with uh, low biodiversity, but things are changing and human beings are creating conditions for changes. And somewhere in the Himalayan Lost Valley, they, Valley, there is a response for a virus problem. In 2007 in India, a virus made uh, rice uh, seeds very small, rice grains very small. It was necessary to test 6,000 varieties of uh, rise to find an answer to this problem. And here we have a picture showing uh, products which are found in the uh, biodiversity in the C25,000 uh, molecules, uh, anti-cancer, antiviral, immunosuppressors, immunostimulators. Here we have uh, Nobel Prizes, uh, Medicine Nobel Prizes, which were obtained based on insignificant models. People say we only rescue what is useful, but how do we know what will be useful in the future? Fortunately, Mechnikov, the sea star, he discovered phagocytosis. Charles Riches uh, discovered venom from jellyfish, fishes, von Warburg, fertilization that prevents uh, spermatozoa from going into uh, the over, uh, from urchins, Huxley found uh, that the, uh, calm, that the uh, squid uh, nerve is 1,000 times longer than that of human being. Candle from the sea slug uh, got a Nobel Prize uh, working on memory. Timothy Hunt discovered the key molecule uh, for cancer, the cyclin kinase, a uh, couple thanks to urchins. Shimomura, green fluorescence proteins from jellyfishes, uh, Nobel Prize in 2009. Carol Ryder, Blackburn and Shostak, the fundamental mechanisms of aging in human being found from something that lives in uh, water puddles and uh, has uh, hair and would have been thrown away previously. Conferences, uh, Rio, Johannesburg, Paris, Paris again in 2010, to find that we have missed the deadline in 2002. They had committed to stop erosion of biodiversity in 2010, and in January 2010, we find that we have done nothing. Okay, let's postpone the deadline to 2020, and there will be another conference, because what we didn't do between 2002 and 2010, are we going to achieve it between 2010 and 2020? In 2014, it's worse than in 2010. Rio, we forget about biodiversity and environmental conferences organized in France, and this is uh, the Chatel Joanneau conference in Chamonix in 2010. People started shouting, what governance for biodiversity? And we have to reconcile economy and ecology, which was very important for my friends, Roger Barbeau and Jacques Devere, who passed away very recently. Now, the whole problem of biodiversity in nature is that it has no value for human beings except for the work conducted by human beings on it. It can't go on like this. The political world elected for only a few years does not understand the reality of the matter. Rousseau Marx used to say, why would I worry about my descendants? They've not done nothing for me. Yes, of course. And law is not prepared to uh, answer those questions for our children and grandchildren. And southern countries need to develop as well in a system where if we manage common good in a private way, we destroy public good, common good. So we need to work on ecological patterns with the economic approaches. We need to seriously find new frameworks for market laws, which are fundamental. We can't allow a system to be totally open. There are market laws in the economy, but we have to find a framework with real environmental laws. Communism collapsed because it didn't take in consideration uh, the laws of the market. Liberal capitalism without a framework, infinitely open, will collapse if we don't take into consideration environmental realities. Now, we have uh, hopes, bio-inspiration, bio-mimetism. My friends Barbo and Dever used to talk about uh, life as a company, life as an enterprise, four million years ago, uh, four million years old. Mechanism, lasting relationships in recycling in nature, there are there is no waste. The only energy is the sun, which uh, is used by living beings. A tree knows how to uh, do photosynthesis during the day and store energy during the night. This is a source of inspiration for us, but we must be less arrogant. We must be humble, 
We must share and we must respect bio-nature. Bio-inspiration uh, is uh, looked at by uh, the cosmetic industry. They say the target is the skin of a 50-year-old woman. Okay, fair enough. There are very interesting ways to regenerate the skin by looking at the ocean survival, 450 million years old. This Japanese train uh, goes very fast and the shape is inspired from the head of a kingfisher. And it was covered in particles that are similar to those of the owl wings, because if an owl makes noise, then the uh, prey will disappear. So the train doesn't make noise. And here we have a train that looks like the head of a bird of prey. Here we have Adler's the first uh, plane that looked like a, a bat, or Da Vinci's uh, gecko uh, foot. The power of uh, a spider web, so resistant, or muscles. Here we have a swimming suits inspired from a shark skin, but only you penetrate water much faster and no bacteria can settle down on the uh, suit. The colors uh, from nature, the uh, lifted uh, wings inspired from the wings of an eagle to go faster. We have a huge source of inspiration in nature, which we must develop with fundamental research targeted research, engineering sciences, and private companies. We spend more time in our company at work than in church nowadays. Biodiversity is a scientific priority. We must work on it more and more. We need to understand and stop the erosion. There are economical stakes. We need to share the benefits. We need to find resources for all of humankind. There is an ethical stake also, because we can't allow half of the living species to disappear. And there's a social stake, because every time we hurt biodiversity, there's a social impact. So it's an intertwined uh, intertwining of uh, society and environment. We need uh, anthropologists, sociologists, economists, philosophers, uh, all to work together. And there was a colloquium in a museum not many years ago, and uh, we raised the question, is the human being capable of adjusting to his own behavior? Greed, arrogance to come back to a previous mode of living, more spiritualism, to live better tomorrow with different criteria and different habits. For instance, today we talk only about uh, GDP, but here we have a picture of a girl who uh, goes shopping in Namibia, and this skull found in an American uh, graveyard on the western coast, of, and it was obviously thrown out of the uh, grave, and uh, nature allowed moss to grow on it, and I scratched it, and all kinds of bugs came out. Obviously, the human being that was uh, inhabited that skull is no longer there, and he doesn't mind. So we need to change our habits.